Hang on. Yeah, he's gonna pull this way. Now you're stuck. Hello everybody and welcome to the Switzerland Trail. I'm Nicholas with Pepper and Mint Off-Road. Today's trail dates back to the late 1800s when both miners and tourists would use this trail to get between Nederland, Gold Hill, Ward, and the historic now ghost town of Caribou. It's about 20 minutes outside of Boulder, Colorado, and it's a wonderful, easy trail for a nice leisurely drive. The Switzerland Trail has been featured in a number of YouTube channels, including the TFL series. Today, we'll be taking a couple of different tracks that will be covered in snow or mud, so we expect a lot of fun. As we approach our first snow crossing now, I invite you to sit back and enjoy the ride. got to hand it to Noelle. She is awesome just allowing us to stop, especially in the middle of the snow pile, and get some additional pictures so that we've got some content. Come part way up there, I'd like to get a picture. Uh, just kind of fall into that dip a little bit. for this? Listen close. You can actually hear the top of the snowbank rubbing against the skid plate. That gives you an idea of how deep the snow actually is. The trail actually continues beyond here, but this tree has fallen over and while somebody has made their own way around the tree, that's not technically on the trail, so we're going to go ahead and turn around here and respect the land and maybe somebody will come up later with a chainsaw and cut that out. That trail was awesome. We actually did it a couple more times just to try out the new systems in the Jeep JL, including the downhill descent control uh, with and without the sway bars connected. Just wanted to see what, uh, what could we could expect. A little further down the line though, we came across a couple of pickup trucks that were stuck in the snow. So the one I'm walking up to now is a Ford F-350 and the one directly in front of him is a Ford F-250. Off on the side, just to the left out of uh, camera shot is a Toyota Tacoma and a Jeep Wrangler and those folks were trying their best to uh, move the two big rigs but they just couldn't do it so I decided that maybe I'd like to take my turn. We'll see how that goes. Alright, 
Well, no, I was walking up to the Jeeps here. Let me give you an idea of what we were doing. Uh, I pulled out the monster kinetic rope and was communicating with the uh, F-350, letting him know that I'd like to give it a shot. Hi. Now, you see he is actually curling up a toe strap. Uh, that would not be the proper tool for this type of recovery. So uh, using the kinetic rope, my hope here was that we would be able to connect up and give him one, maybe two solid yanks, pull him straight back and out of the snowbank. Probably want to be up here just so you don't get hit yep. with it. I will. Perfect, perfect yank with that kinetic rope. Just like they do on winter towing or Matt's off-road recovery. That's exactly what I expected. And I honestly didn't know what to expect. But hey, now I, I have to have the qualifications to go work for Matt. It's just, yeah, totally, I, I'm sure, right? Yep, yep, keep going, keep going. Hang on. Yeah, he's gonna pull this way. Now you're stuck. So, yeah, I was stuck. No, he's, yep, he might get I it. can't go work for Matt. Nope. Nope, not at all. Uh, so actually what happened here is the uh, rope, when I started out, it was too um, taunt, and so I didn't get enough of a run at it to yank. And I am in the hole now that the yeah, F-350 like, dug with his rig, so there was no way to Can get you out unhook? of this. I'm buried then... clear up to my axle on the front. Um, tires are just spinning. Uh, it just there's nothing I can do and, and unfortunately I can't release the rope because there's so much tension between the two vehicles. Uh, he can't go back. Say, if you, uh, I can't go back. Uh, if you can just get back like a couple of feet, you, you probably were, would be experts. good. So this guy didn't realize that I was stuck yet. Um, after we spoke for just a moment, he let just me borrow his traction boards and we were able to pop I the think... Jeep back up and out of the hole and then I was able to get a better run at pulling this F-250 out. There you go, there you go, you got it! You got it! Oh, he's gonna just keep pulling you all the way to the end! Noel and I continued on our way down the trails, and as we turned around, came back, we were met by this gentleman on a UTV that wanted to let us know just a little further ahead, there was a Ford F-250 and a Ford F-350 that were stuck in the snow. I think they made it all of about 500 feet. 